Hello friends, in this video we are going to talk about endometrial carcinoma. So, the age of uh, uh, having endometrial carcinoma is a postmenopausal more than 55 years. Risk factors we already have discussed. Estrogenic risk factors are there. Unopposed estrogen in case of obesity, serum use, early menopause, late menarche, nulliparity, all these things are the risk factors. Protective factors are ossipil, smoking and multiparity. Why ossipil? Due to progesterone. Smoking due to decreasing the estrogen due to aromatase enzyme inhibition and multiparity is due to multiple time progesterone exposure. Now, there are types of CA endometrium. The most common thing is endo, uh, adenocarcinoma. When we say adenocarcinoma, that means that the carcinoma is developed in the glands. So, uh, in endometrium, we are concerned about the glands. So, adenocarcinoma is the most common, 80%. Some mixture of adenosquamous carcinoma is there. There are some types of papillary carcinoma and clear cell carcinoma also. These are uh, not uh, having good, good prognosis. So, these are less common, but they are more dangerous. Now, adenocarcinoma, we have three grades. Grade 1 means the carcinoma cells are well differentiated differentiation means they just act or they, they just look like glands so differentiation is still there so they are less dangerous grade 2 means moderately differentiated grade 3 means poorly differentiated and you cannot actually identify whether the cell is of a gland cell or what the cells are distinct and they are just act like a different kind of cells so this is very dangerous now how they spread this carcinoma spread by direct extension very common root lymphatic spread is also there to the pelvic and para aortic lymph nodes now on the histology if you see back to back arrangement of glands is seen for example if the uh, stroma is there if you have seen my previous video on endometrial hyperplasia the back to back glands are seen there is a very little stroma, desmoplastic stroma. There are too much of cells in the in the very less stroma. Excessive papillary pattern. This is the papillary pattern. For example, this is a gland. This is a papillary pattern. This one. So this thing you are seeing is a papillary pattern. Squamous cell differentiation is also seen. Histologically, there are basically two types, type 1 and type 2. Type 1 is 80%, which includes adenocarcinoma and grade 1 and 2. And type 2, which is 20%, includes papillary carcinoma, serous cell carcinoma, clear cell carcinoma, and adenocarcinoma grade 3. So, this type 2 is dangerous, type 1 is good prognosis having. And why is good prognosis? Because type 1 is uh, is dependent on the estrogenic exposure. So when there is a higher ex estrogenic exposure, then the, the development of adenocarcinoma type 1 possibility is good. But if this type 2 adenocarcinoma is there, or type 2 endometrial cancer is there, then it is basically not dependent on estrogen. So they 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 having a known estrogenic uh, causative factors so it is a bad prognosis okay now clinical features irregular vaginal bleeding postmenopausal bleeding endometrial hyperplasia okay once the patient comes to you the first investigation you do as a diagnosis of is a tbs transvaginal ultrasonography and transvaginal ultrasonography you will find the endometrium is hyperplastic or endometrium looks different if it looks more than 5 mm in postmenopausal or if more than 12 mm in premesomposal, then you will go for endometrial biopsy. Fluid seen, polypoidal mass is also seen, then you should go for the endometrial biopsy. Endometrial biopsy will clear your pathway of investigation. You can review it multiple times. You can see the atypical cells or carcinoma itself. Hysteroscopic uh, visualization and uh, uh, biopsy is useful only for the carcinoma which is localized to some place otherwise hysteroscopy should not be done in adenocarcinoma because there is a theoretical risk of 
a spread of carcinomatous cell into the pelvic cavity okay so it should not be preferred fractional curettage is the gold standard why because when you're doing fractional curettage you are ge uh, getting the whole thickness of endometrium sometimes and then you can actually see how it is you you also get the basal membrane and uh, you can actually see that how it invades into the myometrium so fractional curettage is a very important examination uh, for ESCA endometrium if once in this slides in uh, you know histopathology there is a carcinoma then you must go for MRI or CT scan MRI is preferred here MRI actually gives the spread of uh, carcinoma into the myometrium and to the lymph nodes depth of the myometrium involved is seen in MRI so it's good to go for MRI and CT you can actually scan other organs also now now once the carcinoma is confirmed then then the third thing is laparotomy laparotomy should be done debulking surgery at least should be done so what is the management of adenocar uh, endometrial carcinoma laparoscopy sorry laparotomy not laparoscopy laparotomy okay now on laparotomy you do a hysterectomy that is ta th total abdominal hysterectomy along with bso bilateral salpingo oophorectomy plus lymph node sampling now lymph node sampling is done in almost all cases of uh, uh, carcinoma cervical uh, endometrial carcinoma but there are some uh, exceptions which are those exception if the if it is a type 1 adenocarcinoma or is a type 1 carcinoma and the less than 50 percent of myometrium is involved and the lesion is less than 2 centimeter in size then you you may not go for a lymph node dissection but otherwise in all cases you will go for lymph node dissection now staging we will do uh, we will do two things along with staging and the management of that stage now we have uh, we have uh, discussed the staging in of endometrial carcinoma along with the ovarian and cervical but here we will repeat that staging so you need to concentrate on that and you need to remember those uh, videos so i have a different video on staging kindly go through that video so the stage one stage one means the cancer is confined to the uterus now it has two different substages 1a and 1b 1a means less than 50 percent of myometrium is involved 1b means more than 50 percent of the myometrium is involved now what is the management of these things if the stage 1a is there then you need to see the grade grade of the carcinoma adenocarcinoma if it is grade 1 and 2 then you you have to see you have to go for th plus bso in every case but in those cases of uh, 1a in which the the carcinoma is grade 1 and 2 then you might not go for lymph node dissection there is an option of uh, avoiding this lymph node dissection but if the uh, stage 1a is there and the grade 3 is there or if there is a grade uh, stage 1b that means more than 50 percent of the myometrium is involved then you should go for lymph node dissection th bso ln means lymph node dissection and r means radiotherapy you will also go for radiotherapy if more than 50 percent of myometrium is involved then comes to stage 2 stage 2 means spread through the cervix so cancer spread to the cervix and endo endocervical stroma is involved it's considered as a stage 2 in this thing the simple hysterectomy will not be sufficient so you will go for Wertheim's hysterectomy plus lymph node dissection plus radiotherapy so what is Wertheim's what is simple hysterectomy I have a separate video on that thing kindly go through that video of different types of hysterectomy then comes to stage 3 stage 3 means spread beyond the uterus so it has a various substage stage 3a means tumor invades serosa or adnexa stage 
थ्री बी मीन्स वजाइनल इन्वॉल्वमेंट एंड स्टेज थ्री सी वन मीन्स पेल्विक नोट पॉजिटिव सी टू मीन्स पेरा एटिक नोट पॉजिटिव स्टेज फोर मीन्स डिस्टेंस मिस आर्टिस इन ऑल दिस स्टेज थ्री एंड स्टेज फोर यू हैव टू गो फॉर अ डी बल्किंग सर्जरी यू मस्ट डू अ डी बल्किंग सर्जरी यू गो फॉर लिम्फ नोट डिसेक्शन एंड एस्टोपेथोलॉजिकल एग्जामिनेशन यू विल ऑल्सो गो फॉर कीमोथेरापी ऑल्सो एंड रेडियोथेरापी इज ऑल्सो देयर सो कीमोथेरापी टेप रेजिमेन इज देयर टी वॉट इज टी ए पी टिप मीन्स टेक्जोल पी मीन्स प्लेटिनोल एंड ए मीन्स एड्रियामाइसिन सो इफ यू concentrate on the management of the endometrial carcinoma so tah and bso must be done and lymph node metastasis or lymph node sampling can be avoided in very basic first stages of adenocarcinoma but you should do it in a stage 1a only radiotherapy is not there in otherwise every other stage have a radiotherapy from stage 1 b starting from the stage 1b to stage 5 or 4 there is a radiotherapy radiotherapy is involved and lymph and lymph node sampling is also involved chemotherapy is given in the stage 4 only a uh, stage 3 and stage 4 only it's not given in stage 2 even okay so this is all about endometrial carcinoma